QuantMod is a handy library in R that we can use to stream financial data. So in this instance, what we're going to do is we're going to download Forex data into the R environment using QuantMod. And specifically what we're going to do is we're going to download a set of currency pairs and we're going to do a strong week analysis on these currency pairs for two, five and 10 day periods. So we're going to first of all download our currency pairs and then we're going to rank these currencies in terms of strength or weakness against the US dollar. And then you're going to see how we can do a strong week analysis to see which currencies were the strongest against the greenback and the weakest against the greenback over a two day, five day and 10 day period. So let's go ahead and see how we can configure QuantMod to be able to do this. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how we can use QuantMod to download currency data and conduct a strong week analysis based on that data. So here's a brief look at where we're going to be sourcing our data from. So we're getting the currency data from the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. And you can see that here we're presented with a series of exchange rates. So if we look at the US Euro, for example, and you can see that we have a special symbol. And this symbol is what we're going to be using in the code in QuantMod to specify the different currencies that we want to download. So if we look at another one, you can see that we have one for the greenback versus the British pound and so on. So jumping straight in, we'll load our quant mod library. Then we want to use the get symbols command to download all of the relevant currency pairs that we need. So we're going to go ahead and run that. So you can see that all of our currency pairs have been loaded in XTS format. And while we could specify the start and end dates here, we're going to download all of the currency data because it's the last 10 days of data that we're going to be interested in. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert our currency pairs into numeric format. So we're going to unclass them. So you can see that we have a numerical variable for each of our currency pairs. And for two of the currency pairs, we're going to flip them around. And you can see that we have our modified currency pairs. So we're going to start off by conducting a strong week analysis on two day data. So we're going to convert our data into a data frame and we're going to use the tail function to specify that we want to import the last two observations or in other words, the last two days of currency data for each pair. And once we've done that, we want to see the percentage change in the currency pairs over those two days. So the, the percentage change in each currency relative to the US dollar. And you can see on the right hand side, we have all of our values calculated in percentage terms. And we now want to use which max and which min to select the currency pairs that are the strongest and the weakest versus the US dollar. So you can see on the past two days, the British pound has been the strongest and the Canadian dollar has been the weakest. Now let's do the same thing for five day data. So again, we're converting into data frame and using tail to extract the last five days, which you can see here. And same thing as last time, we're going to calculate the percentage changes for the five days for each currency versus the US dollar. And again, we're going to use which max and which min to identify which currency pair has shown the biggest increase in the past five days versus the biggest decrease. So the biggest increase has been the British pound 
and the weakest has been the Canadian dollar over the past five days. And finally, we'll do it for 10 days of data. So again, converting it to data frame using the tail function. And we now have 10 days of currency data. And once we have that, we are calculating the percentage changes in each currency versus the US dollar. And once again, using which max and which min to calculate which currency has been the strongest. In this case, it's the Canadian dollar and the weakest has been the British pound. So we've seen how we can import currency data into R using QuantMod. And we can see that once the currency data has been imported, you're free to conduct a range of analysis with that data. In this case, we've done a simple strong weak analysis to determine which currencies have been the strongest versus the weakest over a two-day, five-day, and ten-day period.